Hill, number 44 for the Redskins, Craig Ball, number 24, Brandon Cisco, and number 61, Chad Benson, are the Redskins coaches for the Redskins, for the Redskins tonight. Chad Benson, and it's number been 24, Brandon Cisco, the uh, PA system, and number 44, going to be a determining factor here. Right, it's almost right in here. We're trying to do the best situation. Yeah, we'll try to do the best we can here. We may have to go just like we're doing. Okay, and uh, as we said, the captains, Craig Balls, number 44, Chad Benson, number 61, and Brandon Cisco, number 24, all seniors for the Redskins, as they flip the coin out in the middle of the field. And apparently, let's see who won the toss. I'm not sure. I believe the Redskins have, and they're going to receive, I believe. They're going to receive. That is right. So the Redskins the Redskins have won the toss. As you said, Ron, we're in ball now, Ben. Of course, the second ball game of the year. Redskins come in with a record of 1-0 and after the victory over Truman last week. Ball now comes in a record of 0-1. Uh, they were beaten last week by Clark's folks. And the Redskins down in the south end zone. Getting ready to start this game here. And here comes the Pocahontas Redskins. We'd like to welcome everyone tonight to Pocahontas Redskins Network Football Action. Y'all stay tuned as we give you the opening kickoff here in just one moment, so y'all stay tuned. Okay, Ron, the Redskins kickoff. All right, the kickoff start the ball game. And back deep, number 24, Brandon Cisco, number 34, Casey Chester, in the middle, number 44, Craig Balls. As we're just about set to kick off this second ball game of the year for the Redskins. And there's a whistle. And this ball game is underway. The ball is going to be taken by, picked up by Chester on the 10. Chester's back to the 20, to the 25. And at about the 25-yard line, number 34, Casey Chester, on the return. Great <laughs> 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 It'll be first down and 10. The ball is on the 25-yard line. just outside the Redskin 25, number 14, Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson, starting the quarterback. And Wilman turns, hands the ball to Martin, and Martin's up the middle for 5, 10, and Martin's on the outside. He's still going, he's still going, Gary. 45, 50, and all the way down to the 45, over the Bulldogs. That was a good thing by Martin. Shane Martin on the carry, and Martin picks up big yardage. Down in there by Bulldogs. And Brent Kelly. Brent Kelly on the carry, and Martin picks up big yardage. The line of scrimmage is about the 25-yard line, and Martin is all the way to the 45, just outside the 45-yard line of Ball Knob. Uh, a good run by number 33, Shane Martin. Excellent. About a 30-yard pickup for Martin on that play, so it's first down and 10. Redskins pitch out left side, Cisco, and Cisco's got to pick up uh, maybe a yard. He's across the 45 to the 44. Offensively for the Redskins, number 51, Chris Hinkley in there, number 64, Pete Bounds, number 80, Michael Johnson. And we'll try to get the others for you. Turn around there. Like number 60, Brian Jansen in the left guard, number 62, Brian Perry in the left tackle. Chester split wide right, Martin and Cisco in the backfield. And Wellman, the quarterback, back to pass is Wellman. Wellman is going to be... Pass knocked down out there. I'm not sure. I think he was trying to hit Michael Johnson, number 80. And a little slow develop as I believe Johnson was held up on the line of scrimmage. So it's going to bring up a third down now for the Redskins. They open up here with a pass early. So it's third down and eight. The ball is at the 43 of ball nine. Opening possession of the ball game, split wide right. Here's Malone. Back to pass is Wellman. Wellman's pass is going to be caught by Chester, and Chester does get away, and Chester's down to the, about the 36-yard line. 
It's going to be short of a first down, however, as Casey Chester was covered well. And you can see right then, they've done their scouting report on the Redskins as they had two men out there watching Chester, and he was still able to get away from them and pick up almost the first down. It's going to be short of about a yard. The Redskins need to get almost to the 35s. It's on about the 36. I believe they've got to get to the yard stripe. So on fourth down and a yard, Redskins going for it from the ball line 41. Give to Martin, and Martin's going to be, I believe he got it. Martin is in there for the first down, and the Redskins move the chains. Shane Martin. Well, through a close. Number 33, Shane Martin picks up the first down for the Redskins. Good run to Martin. 53. And on fourth down, Martin just bowled it right in there. A good job by the Redskins. For that time to pick up the first down on fourth down. And in on that play, uh, number 21, Ralph Collier, a sophomore, in on the last play. Back in is Chester and number 12, Jeremy Presley. Also in the game now, number 14, Wellman turns, hands the ball to Cisco. Cisco gets across the 35 down to about the 33-yard line. A pickup of about about three for number 24, Brandon Cisco. Be second down now and seven for the Redskins. Opening drive with the ball game. Nine minutes. Nine minutes and seven seconds to go. First quarter. No score. Presley and Chester in the split wide left. And off Martin and Martin. Gets across the 30 and slipped just as he's trying to make his cut. Uh, Shane might have had a little more than that. Mark it down right on the 30. Got back up third down now and five. So third and five for the Redskins as the offense moves the ball to their own 25 yard line down through the ball line 30. 30 and five. 51, Chris Hinkle, the center. Number 77 also in at a right guard, and that's Alex Phillips. So third and five. Back to pass is Wellman. Wellman's pass is going to be nearly intercepted. Incomplete. Going to be incomplete down at the 20-yard line. Libby's he's trying to hit Presley, number 12, Jeremy Presley. So it's going to bring up five. So it's going to be fourth down now in five yards. We'll get it. Okay, Redskins now with fourth and five. Ball to 30. They've got to get to the 25 for the first down. Back to pass is Wellman. Wellman's going to be, Wellman's going to be dropped back on the 36. So the Redskins uh, go on defense now as unable to convert on fourth down. And here we go. It's eight minutes, 11 seconds left to go. First quarter, no score, and the Bulldogs will come out with their first possession of the ball game. Redskins looked, uh, looked real good on that drive. Stalled out down there, but they uh, seen some good promise there in that drive, Ron. Yes, they did. The Bulldogs up to the line now. And off the right side, it's cut down now on a good play by number 51, Chris Hinkle. Hinkle was right in there. Hinkle was there. And for a loss on the play. And the loss is back to the 35 yard line. The loss of the yard by the Bulldogs is number 31, senior Chris Hinkle. I think this defense is down. Played real well last week in the victory over Truman. And on that play, looked, uh, looked real good as Hinkle come shooting through there. The second down at 11. Head off down the right side. He is stacked up after a gain of maybe a yard. And that was David Cross on the carry for the Bulldogs. And that number 33, Martin. Tackle was made by Shane Martin. Martin was right in there. They were right on the play. And Redskins now. We'll see it's a third down and nine. So give him a gain of two. A gain of two. And a long eight. 39. Call it third and nine. 
So they move the chain back to score that to the yard mark. It's going to be third down and almost 10. Man in motion. Back to pass. Pass is complete. Out of the flag. And he's going to be stopped short of the first down. And little little uh, hitch pass out there, swing pass, like you would call it, to the, the big fullback, number 33, for Ball Lob. I see uh, they've got a roster there. John, he's a senior. So it's going to be fourth down now and two yards for first down. Ball at the 44 of Ball Lob. So fourth down now, big play for the safe, the Redskins. Like to stop them here and get that ball back in real good shape. Okay, let's see what happened. Penalty flag on the play, and I believe it's going to be on the offense. It is on ball knob. It is on ball knob, yes. It's going to be offsides against ball knob. So good break for the Redskins. I'm sure they'll punt the ball in this situation. And uh, really, you know, I'm really a little surprised that they uh, had, and I believe they were, they were attempting to go for it there. I don't think that was a... Uh, you know, a, a situation where they were trying to draw the defense offside. I think they were going to go for it. On their own 44. The ball is back on the 39. There's the snap. And they kick the ball way on the sidelines. And it's going to go dead at about the 29-yard line. Just, just as we expected, they kicked the ball away from number 34, Casey Chester. As yes, ball knob last week in their game against Clark. One of the uh, one of weaknesses, Ron, they the Clarks will retain uh, return two punts for touchdowns uh, against ball knob, so that uh, seems to be maybe one of their weaknesses. And that time, of course, maybe one of the Redskins' strengths. That time they kicked it away from Chester. As no surprise. Back is the for the so first and ten, first and ten for the Redskins. Ball to twenty nine. Wellman turns, hands the ball off up the middle. Martin's going to be stacked up for no gain. No gain for Martin on the play. It's to be second down and 10. Second down. And uh, if you folks are here in the PA like we are, uh, <laughs> you may have to turn your TV down a little bit. This is right in here with us. Second down, and let's call it nine. Pitch out right side. Martin, and Martin's still on his feet. He's got the first down penalty flag on the play, though. Martin's over the 40 to the 38. Up to the 42, but a penalty flag thrown right in the direction of the run. And it is going to be against the Redskins. And that's going to be a major penalty against the, against the Redskins. After Martin got the good run, he got it up to the 42. I didn't see what to call it. I think it was a clip. Clipping. I don't what it was. So a bad break for the Redskins here. As they, they've been moving the ball a little bit. Uh, Martin getting some good yardage. That's the second time he's got good yardage. So second down now. And... About 20 for the Redskins. Wellman back to pass. Wellman's pass out of the flat. It's going to be caught by number 10, Malone. And all the way up on It's going to be good enough for a first down, I believe. It's on the 39-yard line. And it's going to be good enough for a first down. So pass completion good. And it is a first and 10 Redskins. And Stephen Malone did a, an excellent job that time getting the ball as it kind of hung up there just a little bit. And Malone... Good catch. Uh, he, uh, Long got aggressive and went and got the ball. Good job by Steve Long, number 10. Number 14, Wellman, the quarterback, on that pass. Pitch out left side to Cisco, and Cisco trying to get around, and he's going to be slowed down. All the way back on the 35-yard line, so it's going to be a loss of about four on the play. The Redskins have been able to get outside. Thus far, and number seven, Jason Ward. 4-11 left to go in the first quarter. No score. Redskins with the ball at their own 34-yard line. Be second down now, and about uh, let's call it about 15. Wellman back to pass. Wellman's pass out of the flat, and it's going to be incomplete. 
Trying to hit number 34, Casey Chester, over here. He's going to bring up four, uh, third down and 15 for the Redskins. Offensively, number 52 in there for the Redskins on an offensive line. They're changing a lot of people around. Uh, on the last play, 52. Yeah, it's a senior high schedule, Ron. I'm looking at the junior high. Yeah. <laughs> That's Mike Emmons. We'll get all these numbers after a couple more games. Okay, third down now and 15 for the Redskins. In motion is Chester. Back to pass is Wellman. Passes out in the flat, trying to hit Malone. That's going to be incomplete. Incomplete. Yeah, trying to hit Malone down on the 42 of Paul Hub. So that's going to bring up fourth down. The Redskins going to have to punt the ball away as the line of scrimmage is the own 35-yard line. And Ronald, I believe I've seen a PA announcer talk as much as this one. He's going to be a little bit of an announcer or something. Martin set to punt. There's the snap. And Martin gets the punt away. A good punt by Martin. It's going to be taken down on about the 30-yard line. And he's going to be dropped there. A good tackle. I believe that was number 40 in there. Number 40, Jerry Fears, makes the tackle. So that was a return of one yard. Well, that's good kick coverage. Good kick coverage. A lot of speed getting down there. That was good play by Fears as he just cut his feet right out from under him. And so return of one yard. If you can hold a return like that every time, you're in pretty good shape. Redskins on defense now here with 3.33 left to go. First quarter, first quarter. Pitch out around the left side, and he's going to be swarmed under there. Number 32, Chad Telemeyer, and number 33, Shane Mark. It looked like it was going to be for a game, but uh, yeah, it was maybe a yard. So second down and nine. And defensively, the Redskins looked real well here in the ball game. Redskins 1-0 coming in this ball game. Big victory over Truman last week. And going out of the conference game this week. And on the left side, and he's going to be smothered under. And got on that couple, I'm not sure. Getting up off there, uh, number 40, Fear. And Jay Martin also in on the play. Defensively for the Redskins. Number third and I'll try to talk when he's not talking, Ron. <laughs> but number 55 in on the defense. That's Kevin Mason. 44, Craig Boss with 64, Pete Bounds. Number 40, Jerry Fears. Number 51, Craig Dinkle. Number 81, John McFall. Third down now, and 10. Hand off to the tailback, and he's going to be smothered after no game. The Redskin defense is mighty tough. Mighty tough. And in there, number 55, Mason stacked it up. So it's going to bring up a punting situation for Ball Hub. And no, Ron, this game's a lot like last week's game. A lot like it. Defensive struggle. However, the Redskins have been able to move the ball offensively. There's the snap. And gets an end over end kick. It's going to go out of bounds. All about the 46-yard line. And I think one of the Ball Hub coaches caught the ball. Definitely trying to kick the ball away from any type of return. As you can tell, Ron, they have a deadly fear of what might happen if they kick it to one of our returners. That's right. Especially 34, Casey Chester. They were burned last week by Clarksville. So they learned a lesson early in the year about uh, what kind of return can do to you. So they had two returns last week against them. The Redskins with the ball now to 46. They're on 46. Wellman in the quarterback. And on the right side. And Brandon Sisko trying to get around. And Sisko gets across the 50. Down to about the 47. And Derek Johnson was the tackler for the Bulldogs. A good pickup for Sisko as he picks up about five or six on the play. About six yards on the play. So it's going to be second down. And uh, that was closer to, it's closer to three, so let's call it uh, second and three. So seven-yard gain for Brandon Sisko on the play. Wilman, number 14, is the quarterback. And to Martin around left side. Martin's got some running room if he can get around. 
Penalty flag on the play, and that was thrown right in the direction of the run, Ron. To the back side. And it looked like, Martin looked like he had a little running room there. And somebody got out of his jersey, but I believe it's going to be a holding call against the Redskins. It's going to back him up 10 yards. So, Redskins getting a few penalties here early, and that's something we didn't see last week. Right? That's right, we sure didn't. That's, that's a clip and a hold on the offensive side of the ball from the Redskins, and that's going to back up. Back up. All the way to the Redskin 44. Be second down, down 11. Minute 25 left to go. First quarter, no score. Redskins been able to move the ball here offensively and shut ball out down defensively. Back to pass as well. It's complete. Pass to Presley. And Presley is across the 50. Let's see where they spot it down. They went out of bounds on about the 48. So it's going to be third down now. And about four. Be third and four for the Redskins. Ball's inside ball knob territory at the 48 and a half yard line. Pick up about six yards, call it third and four. <laughs> so third and, well, third and uh, long four or short five. Wellman set, back to pass is Wellman. Pass is complete to Chester. And Chester outside and he's out of bounds at the 37 yard line. First and 10 Redskins. Number 34, Casey Chester, and a good pass by number 14, Zach Wellman. And it was good enough for a first down, so the Redskins moving the ball here again. And I know they'd like to move it on down there and score. As they shut the ball out down defensively and have been able to move the ball on the offense. Just need to move it on down there and punch it in. That's what we really need to do. Less than a minute to go in the first quarter. Split wide left is Presley. Belong to the right. Back to pass. Going out of the front door. And a good play by Jeremy Presley. That ball was almost intercepted. And Presley all of a sudden to become a defensive back as he knocked the ball away. Still trying to get it himself, and uh, we saw a while when that a junior that game last night. All right, he missed it. Yep. But, uh, I don't know if we're going at halftime, I'll tell you that right now. That's right. Uh, <laughs> we're going to go and find another play. Well, I believe we'll be able to make it. Okay, second down now. And 10. And off the right side, and Cisco trying to get around. Couldn't get around. 24 on the carry for the Redskins. Uh, let's see. Real close to the line of scrimmage. Nowhere to go that time. Running to the short side of the field. So it's going to be third down and 10 for the Redskins. Redskins. Have thrown the ball a little more. Thrown the ball a little more in this ball game than the they did in the Truman game, but they're faced with a third and 10. Now, line of scrimmage, the 38 of ball knob. Back to pass is Wellman. Wellman's pass out of the flat, trying to get Malone, and Malone is, oh, almost come down with it. I thought he had it. Ball is incomplete, as Malone almost came down with it. Now, like about the 20 yard line. So it'll be fourth down now, and Shane Martin set back deep to punt. And I'm not sure this would be a punt, Ron. Hey, Martin, Martin is set in punt formation. We'll see what happens. And Martin does punt. And Martin gets a good punt away. It's going to be fair caught down on the about the five-yard line. About the five. So a good punt by Shane Martin. And puts the Bulldogs deep as Redskins playing for field position here. As they've done an excellent job defensively so far. Great job. And uh, they'd like to hold ball now down here and force them to punt it out. And the Redskins will get reasonably good ball position. Line of scrimmage will be seven of ball now. Ball now come out now, comes out now with good receivers. Both sides give up the middle. And penalty flag on the play. And 
The ball carrier gets out over the 30 for the 31. That, uh, that flag was thrown right in the offensive side, so usually indicates on the offense, we'll wait and see. Yeah, illegal procedure against ball knob, so it's coming back. He does a good play by play, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah. We're just hearing a little more of them we'd like to. Yeah, that's right. Okay, the ball is going to be backed up now. Half the distance of the goal. He leaves the procedure against Ball Knob. The ball might be down inside at the five. At about the, I guess about the three. I think the line of, what was the line of scrimmage going to go down about the seven? About about the three and a half. And that's going to bring... And in the first quarter, we'll try to make it, but at the end of the first quarter, no score in the ball game. And we'll be back with the second quarter. Oh I'm sure 55 in there, Kevin Mason was one of the defenders in there on that play. He's picked up after a gain of maybe a yard. It's going to be second down now, nine for ball knob from their own four yard line. Just started the second quarter, no score in the ball game. Redskins have been able to move the ball offensively pretty well, but not able to get out and deep. And a few penalties here in the first quarter, but uh, defensively have done real well. And often stacked up in there by a host of the Redskins for a loss. And let's see, I'm not sure who all is in on the tackle, a whole bunch of Redskins. And Redskins come up with the ball. Fumble on the play, and the Redskins have come up with it. Boy, what a break. And a tremendous break for the Redskins here as they come up with the football down inside the five-yard line. And I didn't see that one, Ron. I didn't see the fumble. But now the, on the fumble there, apparently, uh, you know, there was a big pileup, and we saw some Redskins, you know, uh, grabbing around down there. So they were fighting for the ball, and they come up with it, and that's the line now. Are the Redskins first down, first down goal to go. Inside the five at the four. Wellman set at quarterback. And off to the quarterback, Martin. And Martin is close to the goal line. Martin, number 33, is now close to the goal line. He didn't get in, but he's awful close. Awful close. He's down inside the one. So it'll be second down now. Goal to goal for the Redskins here. Early in the second quarter, they come up with a big break as they recover the fumble. I'm not sure. Uh, well, I didn't get who recovered the fumble. There was such a pile up down there. But Martin, Boss, and Collier in the backfield. 14 Wellman is the quarterback. There's a handoff to Martin, and Martin is in for the touchdown. Touchdown Redskins. With a minute, with a 10 minutes and 20 seconds left to go, first half, the Redskins are on the board. And a big break as the Redskins punch it over. Number 24, Brandon Sisko, set to attempt the extra point as he ties on the shoe. And those of you who don't know, the kicker changes shoe, changes to a kicking shoe. Number 24, number 12, Jeremy Presley is the holder. There's the snap. There's the kick. And it's good. Redskins are on the board. With this, and uh, they got to score 13 to nothing. Ron, I think we... Do we get that many points? Now we've got 20. That's right. <laughs> 27. Now we go. Now we got seven. Our score is seven to nothing in favor of the Redskins here with a minute to a 10 minutes and 20 seconds left to go in the first half. And the Redskins get the big break that uh, we were hoping for. They've moved the ball offensively, but they recover the fumble down inside the five. And from there, punch it over. Martin from inside the one picks up the TD. And Cisco the kick. So the Redskins now set to kick off. I try to maybe get some of the people on that kickoff team. Number 41 is Brent Reynolds on the kickoff team. Number 10, Malone. Number 57 on the kickoff team, Joe Jensen. We'll try to get some of those, uh, all the guys' names that maybe don't, uh, don't get in regularly. Let's see. Uh, 32, Tina Myers, 61, Chad Benson, 56 on the kickoff team. And that is Chris DeClerc, 
57. I believe we got uh, Joe Jansen, Malone, Reynolds, Baltz, McFall, Chester, number 49, Rose, and there's the kicks going to go over and going to be picked up on about the 23 yard line. And stop on about the 32 yard line, number 61, Chad Benson, and also number 56 in on the tackle. And number, number 56 of the Redskins, Chris Dickler. So some of those players that uh, on that special team, and Coach Williams will tell you, that's a very important part of his game plan is having players on the special team that can really cover punts and cover kickoffs. And number 43, Jeremy Poole. The ball is up near the 34-yard line of Ball Knob. And Ball Knob comes up with a receiver to the right to the right. Back to pass is the quarterback. Pass is going to be complete. Complete into that Redskin territory. Finally brought down by Martin and Malone. But a big game for Ball Knob as they complete the pass. Down at about the 49 of, of the Redskins. So ball now now with first down and 10. 945 left to go first half. Redskins lead the ball game seven to nothing. Ball now though, uh, I believe that was their longest play from, from scrimmage on the pass play and maybe one of the first ones they've completed. As in the wishbone now, there's a give the tailback and he picks up about six more 32. Chad Fulamire. Chad Tiedemeyer on the tackle. The ball is down at the 43-yard line of the Redskins. To suck it down, now and five. Six yards, second and four. For the build out, ball is on the 43-yard line. Second down and five for ball knob. Line of scrimmage 43 of the Redskins. Wishbone formation as they give the tailback, and he's hit hard by Martin. And also, Cisco coming in there hard, and he took a pound in that time, and the 32, Chad Tudemeyer getting up off the bottom of the pile, and a good lick by the Redskins as he picked up a couple, but he paid for it. Picked a couple of good licks. Third down, nine, two yards to go, four ball and out, eight ball and out. And Ron, I believe we could just let the PA do the play with play. He's doing a good job. He's doing an excellent job, I tell you. Can't overrun him. Ball now, about both side, third and short. Quarterback still got the ball. There's the pick. And he's going to be swarmed under and dropped. Four four balls in there. 80. Michael Johnson is going to be real close to a first down as they only need two yards, and I believe they're going to have to measure this one. As, and they do. They're going to have to measure De defensively for the Redskins. We'll try to set uh, Michael Johnson up. And we'll try to, we'll try to talk when they're not talking. That's all you can do. And Ball Knob picks up the first down on that play. Ball is down inside the 40. At about the 30, about the 38 yard line. 7.55 left to go. First half. This is the deepest Ball Knob's been able to get, but they've moved the ball on this drive. Back to pass is the quarterback. Pass out of the flat. It's going to be complete, I believe. I believe it's complete. Well, they didn't really complete. I, I thought the ball had hit the ground, but 32 Tiedemeyer covering over there. Make sure he wasn't going anywhere. So it's going to be second down now. And nine is give him a gain of a yard. Gain of a yard on the play. So second and nine for ball now. Line of scrimmage, the 37 of the Redskins, 7-18. Left to go first half. Redskins lead the ball game seven to nothing. But ball now driving here on this possession. And up the line are the Bulldogs. They give to the tailback and he searches forward across the 35, tackling it by a host of the Redskins. 
getting up is Martin, McFall, number 40, Pierce, also in there. It's going to be third down now and six for a ball out. So the Redskins would like to stiffen up here. The defense has played really well. A ball out. Been able to drive a little bit here as they've opened it up a little more. They've passed a little more and run a, a little more wide open offense. But third down now and six in motion is the fullback, and there's a pass that's going to be batted down. Luke McFall, number 81, hit it. McFall of bounds, Luke McFall. And a good play by McFall, bats it down as they brought the fullback in, in motion, and you folks see that number 33 is a big young man. He looks like probably about 5'10", uh, and over 200 pounds. He can move really well. We saw that earlier. They were trying to hit him. They brought him in motion and tried to get him a little quick pass. And had he caught that ball, he, he had a little room. But a big play now. Fourth down now, five for ball knob. Ball at the 35. Back to pass is the quarterback. Pass up the middle. It's going to be intercepted by Casey Chester. And Chester's back to the 45, to the 50. And Chester returns it all the way to the 46-yard line of ball knob. Number 34, Casey Chester comes up with another big play. And, boy, we get used to seeing that, don't we, Ron? Chester coming up with a big play. And that time, Chester's always played it just perfectly. And, of course, you know, another thing with that, you know, the ball may be there, but you've got to catch it. And Chester does an excellent job. Got good hands, excellent job of catching it. Excellent job. So the Redskins now with the ball back on offense. At the ball line, 47-yard line. Wellman set a quarterback. Back to pass is Wellman. Wellman's pass out in the flat. It's going to be intercepted. Penalty flag on the play. Tackle foul and by number 64 down. So you can almost rest assured that the clipping is going to be a clip. But the, the ball now will come up with the ball, though, on the interception. They sure will. And well, let's see where the, line, where the spot will be. The flag is way at the 48-yard line. The ball is at the Redskin 40. They got the, the ball is at the spot of the infraction, which is the 48, so they'll step off 15 from that point. So after a bad break, the Redskins come up with a good break, and ball out. It's the ball down the 40-yard line of the Redskins. They've got the ball in their own 33. With 5.40 left to go in the first half, and the Bulldogs and the Redskins have changed turnovers. Time out by the Redskins here, and they a fast pace ball. Take a timeout with it. Okay, Ron, the Bulldogs with the ball. They're on 34. Again for the big fullback. And he's going to be dragged down by number 80, Michael Johnson. And penalty flags everywhere here with 529 left to go in the first half. Redskins lead the ball game 7 to nothing. Got illegal procedure against ball knob. It's going to back the ball up five yards. Boy, I tell you what, there is a Quite a few penalties in the ball game. Redskins had their share of them in the first quarter. They're now ball and odd getting uh, their share of them in the second quarter. And we might remind you, ball and odd is in, is in the 5AA East Conference. They're in the conference with Long Oak, uh, Brinkley, and some more good teams. The ball line last year went to the playoffs, we said earlier. So they have a good ball team. A lot of those players back. Give off the left side. Finally tripped up in that number 32, Chad Telemeyer. Got a pickup of about five five on the play. Number 32, Chad Telemeyer. But the line of scrimmage is up to 34, so they're getting uh, four of them back. So we're bringing up a second and nine. Ball is on the 33 yard line. Gain of four on the play, be second and 11. I'll make that second and almost 10. I'll pick up the five on the play, so right at 10 yards. Four ball line, line of finish to 34. 
Wishbone formation for Bon Lab. Back to pass is the quarterback. Trying to hit him out of that play. He does on a spin pass. And he's going to be a good down. On a good tackle by number 10, Stephen Malone. And Malone cut his feet right from thundering. And screen pass that time by Bon Lab. It's going to be good enough for a first down, though. If it's across the 45 to the 46. First and 10, Bon Lab at their own 46. 4.20 left on the first half. And the Redskin defense like to hold on here and try to get that ball back and go in the locker room with a lead at halftime. The ball out, moving the ball here now as they've opened it up. Pitch out left side to the big tailback and he cuts it up. Finally ball down by Cisco, number 24, also in there, Fears, number 40, and number 44, Craig Maltz. But a pickup down inside Redskin territory at 47. Second down now and four. Four ball now. And let's see what happens here is Redskins now on defense, and they've, they've been a little bit, but they've broken. They've given... Ball out of, uh, not any big chunks of ground. Taking the pass play earlier the longest, but ball out with receivers put wide left and wide right. Give up the middle to the fullback, and he's going to be smothered in there by number 32. That's, uh, Chad Telemeyer. Here Oh, was that Martin, Ron? Martin, that was it was Martin, 33. Martin is 33, and, and Telemeyer is 32. So sometimes, and they both got to be at the edge now, though. A lot of times you can, times you can go by how the tackle is, but not on those two, because they hit hard, both of them. Third down, down short. Third and two, pitch out to the big tailback, and they've got him. They got him that time. Martin tripped him up. They got a whole lot of help in there. To finish him off, he stopped short of the first down. Going to be a loss on the play of about a yard, so it'll be fourth down now and three. Fourth and three. And well, you can think about it, Gary. Ball out's going to take a timeout here with 2:18 left to go first half. And we'll give the announcer uh, time to rest. And we'll take a break with him. There you go. Play some football. Okay, Ron, what we got now with 2.18 left to go in the first half, ball now with a fourth and two from the Redskin 47-yard line. Give up the middle of the fullback, and no, oh, it's a pitch play, and he's going to be stopped short of the first down, I believe. Martin in there, and also balls, and he's short. The Redskins are going to get the ball here, and they do. The Redskins take over. Had a good play for the defense, and I thought the ball was going up the middle, but the quarterback did a good job. He held the ball and pitched it out. And come up short as the Redskins made an excellent defensive play. Martin and Boss that time. And the Redskins will take over here with a 7 to nothing lead with 2.13 left to go in the first half. And don't forget next week, folks, don't forget Green County Tech at home. At home. All the Redskins. And the Redskins are going to have to take a time out here with... We'll remind you at halftime, we have two times down. Talk about it a little bit. And we'll take a timeout with them again. Okay, the Redskins first down and 10 with 205 left to go in the first half. Line of scrimmage lead 45 of the Redskins. Give to Martin up the middle, and Martin's across the 50. All the way to the 45-yard line for first and 10 for Shane Martin. As he's inside the 45 at the 44. And Martin takes the ball all the way down to the Bulldog 40, just inside the 45, with a minute 58 left to go in the first half. Up to the line, number 14, Zach Wellman, the sophomore quarterback, hands the ball again to Martin, and Martin up the middle again, and Martin is close to the 40. So a good hard run by number 33, Shane Martin. It's going to be a pickup of another five yards. So bring up second down and five as the Redskins, you know, they like to break one here, but more importantly, just hang on this football and go in with the lead at halftime, seven to nothing. As defensively, they work real well. And offensively, too, moved the ball well. And on left side, Chester with the ball. Chester trying to get around. And 
Chester is brought down on the 45 yard line. So it's going to be a loss on the play of about five. So that'll mean it's third down now. Third down and 10 for the Redskins. As they tried that time to get Chester outside. And Chester unable to get around. This time, Presley is split to the left and Malone to the right. Back to pass is Wellman. Wellman's passed out of the flat trying to hit Chester. And Chester's got it. Chester's got it. 20, 15, 10, touchdown. Redskins, no flags on the play. That's one thing we like to look at. And the line of scrimmage was the 44-yard line, so a 44-yard pass play from Zach Wellman to Casey Chester, and the Redskins are on the board again. With 36 seconds left to go in the first half, and that that was a good pass by Wellman, number 14, Zach Wellman. Excellent pass and a, and a catch there. And you seen that speed, didn't you, Ron? Uh, it it he right on Chester, and Chester just he absolutely flew right on past him. He just opened it up. Chester, what he caught it on about the 12, 13 yard line, and Chester just flew right past him. As there was a man right there. Cisco set up at the extra point. The kick is out. No good. That's no good this time. But the Redskins add another score to the board as they lead the ball game 13 to nothing with 36 seconds left to go in the first half. And the big play, Wellman to Chester. And you see the scoreboard there with 36 and. They've even got a, got a, a second clock there with a tenth on it. Yeah. So when you get in, yeah, when you get inside a minute, you can see exactly how much time it is. And, and Ron, you know, uh, you know, looking at our stadium, and you know, we've we've said it time and time again. Uh, boy, we have got a good looking stadium. And, and, uh, there's no one compared to it. Uh, that's good over stadium. It's just outstanding and the uh i know you know we didn't say anything about it last week but our field back home yes uh, i tell you when you come to another place it makes you really appreciate how good a facilities we've got uh there's the new press box going up and uh, but the field is in excellent condition assistant coach david wellman i guess he's a chief's groundkeeper or yeah, something. Sure he spends a lot of time out there and he uh, you can credit those the f practice field and the game field to Coach Wellman, he really spends a lot of time working on it and a lot of hard work when the weather's really hot. But uh, number 80, Michael Johnson set the kickoff here with 36 seconds left to go and Michael Johnson's kick is gonna be taken on the 25 yard line. Uh, and he's gonna be swarmed under at the 41. Tackle up number 44, Craig Boss, number 41, Brett Reynolds. And number 57 also in the tackle. Number 49, Chris Rose. Right, 57 is Joe Jansen, 49, Chris Rose. So a lot of, a lot of those players, and on the last uh, kickoff, we saw those same players in there. So well, when, their, when their time comes up for them to be on the kickoff team or on special teams, they make every bit of it. As, as we said earlier, that's one of the, the, the facets of the game that our coaches really emphasize is the kicking game. Ball out about the line with 10 seconds to go. Give to the fullback, and he's going to be brought down by a host of the Redskins. And it looks like Bulldogs will receive, and Pocahontas will kick off. We'll be back for that second half kickoff in just a moment. Y'all stay tuned. Set to kick off the second half here. Redskins lead the ball game 13 to nothing. Number 24, Brandon Cisco set to kick. And Cisco is going to be a deep kick all the way to the 15 yard line, taken there. And he's going to be swung over. And a good hit by number 10, Stephen Malone. Good kick coverage. Ball gets back to the 30. Redskins. Second ball is placed on the 30-yard line. So first and 10 go off from their own 30-yard line to open the second half. <laughs> That'll work. It'll work. Okay, Redskins are on defense here to start the second half. 
the Belmont Bulldogs with the ball, first and 10 from round 30. And we'll set that entire defense for you. Fears number 40 in the middle along with Bounds. First and 10. And off the tailback, and he's dragged down behind this down by Redskins. Martin in there, and also 32 Tatemeyer and 51 Hinkle. He was pulled back, I believe, by Hinkle, then slowed him up just enough, and a good pursuit by the Redskins defense to swarm the ball carrier for maybe getting the yards to second down and nine. Cut the line. They split a wide receiver to the right. And here they come with Gellner. And he's going to search the Pick up of about five. Keekle in there. Also McFall, 81, 64, Pete Bounds. 32, Tielemeyer. It's, it's really hard to pick one of the players because the Redskins get good uh, pursuit on the defense. And there's always, always several players on the back. And we might remind you, if you are hearing the PA announcer, there's nothing we can do about it. We're in the press box, and, and we'll do the best we can with it. Third down now and four. For the Bulldogs, and he'll up and they're slamming back. Number 33, Martin's got him. And he's down for a loss. Let's see where they spot the loss. It's going to bring a fourth down. The Bulldogs with the ball in North Territory. At the 34-yard line. So it's going to be fourth down now. And let's call it six. So fourth and six. Back deep to receive the punt. Casey Chester. If you believe they're going to kick to him. Yeah, I don't think so, <laughs> Tim. I don't know. But Chester standing on his own 35. Big rush. And it causes a bad punt. And the ball's going to go out of bounds inside the Bulldogs' territory to 48. So, there again, another weapon as they're trying to kick away from Chester. And that time he shanked the punt off the left side. So the Redskins in excellent field position at the ball now 47 yard line. 47 yard line of the Bulldogs. So the Redskins had a first and 10 from the Bulldogs 47 yard line. And the Redskins up the line. They have first and 10. 9.33 left in the third quarter. Wellman hands the ball off up the middle to Martin. That's uh, not Martin, that's Cisco. Redskins, Cisco. And Brandon Cisco picks up a couple. Just inside the 45 yard line. Bring up second down now and eight. Second and eight for the Redskins. And we'll try to set the offensive line again for you. Hinkle number 51 is the center. Number 60, Brian Jackson in our guard. Number 77, Alex Phillips at the other guard. We'll get the tackles for you next play. Second and eight. And off Martin, and Martin is down close to the 40. Martin. about the 41. And number 62, Brian Perry, is one of those tackles. And I can't see the other one right now. As Redskins do run a lot of players in and out, as Coach Williams said earlier uh, in the year. They would try to play as many players as possible. Third down now and three for the Redskins. They'd like to pick this one up and keep this ball moving. And off to Martin and Martin's off the left side and Martin's got it. Very close. And I think he's got it. He does. Martin's got the first down inside the 30 at the 37. First and 10 Redskins. First and 10 for the Redskins down at the 37 of Ball Eight fifteen. Three excellent runs, three excellent runs by Martin. Right, it is. It's uh, they're moving the ball real well. Got a good offensive game. They mix it up a lot. Let me try to get another tackle over. I'm missing it every time. <laughs> I believe it's well. I'll have to wait. First and ten now for the Redskins. Cisco with the ball down the right side, and Cisco sailing forward. He's down to about the 33 yard line, number 24, Brandon Cisco. And Cisco moves it to the 33. Cisco picks up about four, second and six 
Six men from the Bulldogs 33 yard line. So second down now and six for the Redskins. Number 83, David Williams checking in. Number 12, Presley checks out. I haven't got the right tackle Second yet. <laughs> I think I know who it is, but I don't want to say until I get his number. For sure. Well, when we have a pass that we know, it's going to be intercepted. And, and the ball batted around back there. Uh, Finally picked off by the Bulldogs. And, and then a flag came the flag was thrown in the direction of the tackle. So that usually indicates it would be on the Redskins. It was in the direction of the tackle after uh, you know the ball carrier was running and maybe a face mask, I'm not sure. And that's what it is. A face mask penalty against the Redskins. The Redskins could have been caught in the Bulldogs. Yards marked off against the Redskins. So the ball uh, all the way up to major penalty against the Redskins here. Bounce it up to the 30. 7.05 left to go third quarter. Redskins lead it 13 to nothing. And we're... Oh, let's see, this will be... Uh, ball out second position. Uh, third quarter. Ball out with the ball. First down and 10. And the tail back in. He's battle hard for number 44, Craig Balch. And Balch absolutely annihilated the ball carrier. Number 44, Craig Balch. Craig Balch, number 44. And boy, that's a kind of aggressive play you like to see out of those linebackers. Martin and Balch both doing an excellent job. We're right in there on that play. Big missing run in there now. Number 81, John McFall ended an end. Number 61, Chad Benson at the other end. On that defensive front, number 64, Pete Bounds, number 40, Jerry Fears, number 51, Chris Hinkle. Line, linebacker for uh, Martin and Balls. Second down, nine. Back to pass. There's a quarterback being pressured, and he's going to get the pass around. He's hit immediately. And finally brought down. And that quarterback, quarterback was hit hard. I mean, he was hit absolutely hard. And I don't know what the flag is going to be. It's going to be young ball on it's going to be an uh, ineligible receiver down the field against Ball Lab, and he was... Who put the hit back there? Fears? It was Fears, and, and uh, I think Tim of mine, I couldn't really tell. It may have been, I saw Bounds back Bounds there, 64 like also, and if you folks watch the replay, uh, be sure and run it back and watch that, because that was... He saw that guy, and you can credit that. He, uh, that's the kind of pressure you've got to have. By the defense, because you can, you can bet number 10, the quarterback for Ball Nibis. Got going to remember that the next time he drops back to pass, because he took a hard hit. A real hard hit. And uh, penalty's going to be stepped off against Ball Nibis. Five yards. So that'll bring up second down. And let's see. Second about 15, four first down. Ball Nibis splits receivers wide left. Wide right, single back, in motion, give to the fullback, and the fullback's loose up the middle. Finally swarmed over by the Redskins defense, but a big game. Go back to the 37-yard line. So a big pickup for ball out there is that's going to be third down now, and three, third and three, ball at the 37. And defensively for the Redskins, number 24, Brandon Sisko in the safety, number 34, Casey Chester. The quarterbacks are Stephen Malone, number 10, and 32, Chad Tiedemeyer. Third and three, defense digging in here, and there's a good tailback, and he's going to be smothered under. And the man of game one, he's going to be, well, he's going to be off the close the first down. He does have it. So, Ball now picks up the first down. He didn't, didn't think he'd got far enough to get it, but he was able to squeak through there and pick it up. Down with a very generous spot, I would say, when you were on. Yes. I think he was down on the yard line squarely on the 40, and that would have been close to the first down, but they spotted up at the 41. First down and 10 for ball live, 4.55 left to go. Third quarter, Redskins lead the ball game, 13 to nothing. Quarterback back to pass. Pass in the flat, it's going to be incomplete. 
Take a plate, and while we got a chance here, just uh, I'm sorry to talk over our PA announcer, but the junior high Redskins last night oh. won their ball game in Excellent a game. dramatic ball game, 16 to 14 over Green County Tech. And uh, catch that on the replay. You'll be running that, won't you, Ron, uh, along with the senior game? Yep. Uh, you're going to run the senior game first, then the junior game? Yep. Okay, so immediately follow this game, catch the junior high Redskins against Green County Tech. Second and ten for Ball Now. Back to pass is the quarterback. The quarterback he is finally brought down. As he was hit hard back there by Balls. But he was a real strong young man and he moves the ball up to the 47 yard line. And a good strong run by the Ball Now running back and he's strong. As he was hit hard, he didn't go down. He went too hard over here on this side of the line. Walking an individual at 7. It's going to be a first down. Third and four. Man in motion. Third down and four. Get to the big man up the middle. He's going to be stopped. And dragged down by the fifth there. By number 33, Shane Martin. And Martin on an excellent play. It's a gain of maybe a yard, no more. The official spot the ball very close to the same spot, so we're going to call it no gain. So fourth down and four for Ball Knob. The, the ball is at the, red, or at the uh, Ball Knob 47 yard line. It looks like they're going to go for it. Well, they're going to go for it down 13 to nothing, but Ball Knob, let's get to lock the hole here. And they come out in the. Back to pass. Here's a quarterback being pressured. It's going to be complete. And finally brought down by the 44, Craig Balt. But uh, good pass play. Casey Chester also on the play. But a uh, little hitch pass out there. Like uh, I really want to call it a screen very uh, similar. But uh, they've done that three or four times and they have made yardage on it. So a good play. 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 There for Ball Now, that's one of the a few things they've had going. Yes, it is. Real little hitch pass there. But uh, more importantly, it moves the ball down to the 44-yard line of the Redskins. 335 left to go, third quarter. Get to the tailback, and he's got a big drop. Number 51, Chris Hinkle. And boy, Hinkle comes up a lot of those tackles right by the shoestrings. Looks he's helped out by most of the Redskins. Yeah, like I say, a lot of times we just call, we just can't just call one name because there's a lot of people on the tackle. There's a lot of people. We try to get the initial, initial tackle. And credit that defense is proud of them. And also in there, I believe we got a new player, and I'll check it for the next play, but second down and eight. Quarterback rollout. He's got some room over there. But uh, he's thrown down by Tillemeyer. And by Martin, it looked like he had some room to run, and the defense just collapsed on him. He did pick up uh, three or four yards, but it's down to the 37 now. So third down now. For ball knob. And Fears back in there on, at the nose. Number 40, 51 Chris Hinkle. Number 61, Chad Benson in a defensive end. So another big play, third down now, and four. Ball off with the ball at the Redskin 37, and I believe we're going to have too much time, and that's what it is. It's going to be a delay of the game. That will be a five-yard penalty, so that helps the Redskins. So instead of third and four, it's going to be third and nine now. They can change that play up for that's a 42-yard line. It'll be a... Oh, God, it's a good game tonight. Pretty good, pretty good uh, defense. Okay, third down, now nine, nine for ball out. Ball back on the 43-yard line. Of the Redskins, back to pass. Here's the quarterback. That's a complete, and he's immediately swarmed under. And number 33, Martin over there, and I believe... I'm sure that's Tegelmeyer. Oh, that's that it is, number 32. And he gave the, uh, he gave the 
receiver a little uh, idea about the chat attack was like. The chat attack. He got the chat attack. Yeah, 32, Chad Pelemeyer. So fourth down now and nine. Ball knob is set up in punt formation. They don't mean they're going to punt. 130, left to go. High snap. Big rush. They did and we're going to have a rough and a kicker penalty as Redskins trying to block it. And they hit the kicker. That is the penalty. You, you can hit the kicker as long as you hit the ball. Yeah. But they, they didn't hit the ball that time. They, they were really in there. They were going after that one. So they're going to move the ball down and give Ball Knob a first down now here with a minute 21 left to go in the, fir in the third quarter. Redskins lead at 13-0. That's the automatic first down. I don't think so. Uh, I'm not sure. It, it would be enough for the penalty because it was fourth down and nine. Yes, okay. And uh, roughing the kicker is a 15-yard penalty. So, Ball Knob gets a first and 10 from the Redskin 27-yard line, and I believe that's the farthest oh, they've got. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the deepest they've got into the uh, Redskin territory. First and 10, back to pass is the quarterback, and he's been pressured by a drop. And get a lot of pressure, but defense finally sacked by number 61, Chad Benson. And Chad Benson made an excellent play that time as he just kept on coming and finally got a hold of the quarterback. And that ball just kind of fizzled out. I, he was very lucky to get rid of it. He got rid of it just at the last second, and the quarterback, the ball line's going to come out of the ball game, and they're going to put another quarterback in. As I don't know if he's injured. I, I think it radar got on him, didn't it? Yeah, he got radar. That's right. Number 61, Radar Vincent. We'll have to get Chad about that one. That's a good play by number 61, Chad Vincent. He's nicknamed Radar. And that right time he radar the quarterback. Second down, now nine. Quarterback with the ball, and he's going. No, it's a give up the middle. And big game. Finally brought down by McLaurin, 81. That one fooled me and everybody else up there. Fooled me, really? I didn't. I thought it was still in the back. I thought the quarterback had the ball. But Ball Knob moves the ball down inside the 15 yard line at the 14. And Ball Knob threatening here in the last uh, minute of the fourth or the third quarter. It's going to lead it 13 0. Down to the big tailback, and he's going to be stopped after a game of a couple. Stop in there by number 21, Ralph Collier. He'll pick up second down now. And he picked up a couple, so second and eight. Second and eight for Ball Knob, and the Redskin defense would like to step it up here and keep Ball Knob. Keep Ball Knob out of the end zone. That's the ball game, 13 to nothing, but a long way to go in this ball game. And the starting quarterback's back in the game for ball out. Man in motion. Give up the middle. And he's going to get down inside the 10. And finally stopped up by the long Francisco. And he's going to be down at about the seven yard line, looks like. So it's going to be third down now and two on first down. And that's going to end the third quarter. And Redskins lead the ball game 13 to nothing, but ball knob on the goal line threatening here to start the fourth quarter. We'll be back. So here's really, here's really where it's going to get tough. As yeah, Redskins tough. have got to hold them four downs right here. They lead the ball game 13 to nothing, but ball knob threatening for the first time in the ball game with a first and goal just inside the Redskin five-yard line. It's going to be a tough call right here. And up the line of the Bulldogs, and the Redskin defense dig it in. And off the right side, we got a penalty flag, and I believe that's going to be on ball line as they had a man uh, move early. Call your ball to Cisco in on the back at the two. But I believe that's going to be illegal procedure. 
Uh, it, yeah, if you notice one of the bikes started a little early, then he went on like it was going in motion. But the key to that is he's got to go parallel, parallel to the line of scrimmage. He can't go towards the line of scrimmage, and that's what he did, and that's the reason for the call. If he would have peeled on out and went parallel, it, there wouldn't have been a penalty for Bob Uh huh. But fortunately for the Redskins, he went towards the line of scrimmage, and that is a penalty. So it's going to be first down and goal to go. Ball just inside the 10-yard line. And on that front, number 77, Alex Phillips. 64 bounds, 51 Hinkle, 61 Vincent. And here we go with the play. Option play right, quarterback with the ball. And he's finally going to be dragged down. But he's in for the touchdown. I don't know what the call was. We got a penalty back to the play. Uh, and, just, and probably a little extra curricular activity over there. And I believe we're going to have an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty tacked on against the Redskins, and that'll be assessed on the kickoff. That's a bad break. That's a bad break for the Redskins because it's uh, tacked on on the kickoff. So Ball Live now is going to attempt the extra point as our score is 15 to 6. And apparently they're going to run for it. And Redskins uh, kind of cruising along here with the lead, find themselves now up against the wall. They, they need to stop this extra point. And here we go. Option play right. Penalty play. And he's in to get him to the score, but we do have a penalty on the play. Illegal procedure against Ball Knob is the call, so that brings we're going to have to try it again from a little bit further back. The uh, ball player got him to the end zone just barely, but it's coming back. Penalty on the play. It's going to back it up five yards, so... The Redskin defense would like to stop this extra point. Our score is 13 to 6. We've got 10.54 left to go in the ball game. Ball now comes out now with a wide receiver. And up to the line. And here we go. Back to pass is the quarterback. Pass out of the line. It's going to be incomplete. A good play over there. Chester over there. Number 10, Stephen Malone also. But the extra point, no good. And the Redskins hold on to their 13 to 6 lead here with 10.54 left to go in the ball game. It's been an exciting ball game so far. Sure has. It, uh, you know, the uh, Redskins, I think, would like to hold them out, out of the end zone. But right now, the Redskins are faced with a situation that they're going to have to move the ball and offense to keep it away from ball and all this. On that drive, they moved it fairly well. Uh, it was slow moving, but they moved it. But the Redskins now going to have to go on offense and try to get some type of uh, movement in the ball to keep, keep the ball. There's a long, long time left in this ball. Excuse me. And back deep to receive the kickoff, 24 Cisco, 34 Chester, balls in the middle. And over on the far side, number 49, Chris Rose. And good guy with Paul over here on the near side. Back deep to receive the And we'll see what happens. I don't really think they'll go by an onside kick here. There's always a possibility that that might happen, but uh, I doubt it with this much time left in the ball game. But the Redskins are ready for anything. As we told you, this is a very good ball on our team. I uh, went to the playoffs last year, a lot of those players back, and uh, had a 7-3 record last year. And we're about ready to kick it off, and there we go. The ball is going to be taken by Cisco. On the 18, Brandon Sisko down the left side, and Sisko gets out to the 28-yard line. So the Redskins will take over first down and 10. Along with Jared Wallace 
And we'll see how the offense will do here. I think that's key to it, right? Uh, that's key to it. Uh, that the ball. Ball off with a little momentum right now. That's their first score of the ball game. Number 14, Wellman in the quarterback. Wellman has the ball on the right side and cut it up the middle is Martin. And Shane Martin picks it up about, uh, in about three yards. Second down, seven yards. So second and seven by just uh, at about the 33 and a half yard line of the Redskins. And the Redskins up to the line. And here we go. Got a penalty on the play. And I think it's going to be bigger than the other Redskins. No movement. That's what it's going to be. We'll go back to the So now it is second down now, 10 yards, 10.03 left to go to the ball game. Redskins 29 yard line. 51, Chris Hinkle up over the ball. Alex Phillips in at the right guard. Pitch out right side. And Cisco trying to get around. And Cisco goes to the right side. Brandon Cisco to 50, 45, 40. All the way down to the 35 yard line. Brandon Cisco breaks a big one. It's all the way to the ball line. 35 yard line. Excellent play by Cisco. A big play there for the Redskins. Big play because it moves it down on ball lines into the field, more importantly. But also gives the Redskins. Uh, a fresh breath there is. They're now down inside ball out the territory to 36. Brandon Cisco on the run. And while they go around, number 52 is in at right tackle, and that's Mike Emmons. I think we missed him while ago. Mike Emmons in at the right tackle. First and 10 Redskins. Pitch out left side, Cisco. He had a Cisco trying to get around. Can't do it, but he picked up maybe one. And boy, he's just a step or two away from getting on the outside. And he gets on the, he gets on the outside, he, he may be gone. On that last play, Cisco can never get on the outside. He was still a lot of pursuit there. He was trying to get to the sidelines, and he can fly once he gets there. So second down and nine for the Redskins. Flag on the play before the play started. And I believe it's going to be on ball now. There's our Redskin players. Right from the ball line. That's what it's going to be. Offsides on the ball now, Bulldog. Don't forget, folks, next week, Green County Tech at home. Game time, 7.30. The junior high Redskins will be on the field next week at Pickett. Junior Redskins coming off a big victory last night, 16-14 over Green County Tech. They're 2-0 for the season. Redskins, the senior Redskins trying to make it 2-0 is, we've got a second by now and five. And off right side, Martin with the ball. Martin still going penalty flag. And Martin's close to the first down, but penalty flag thrown in the offensive backfield. And that don't look good for the Redskins. Because that's usually... Oh, we got holding. Holding on ball now, I believe. Yeah. That's what it is. It was holding. The call is holding on the Bulldogs. And that's going to move it down even farther than that. That's going to get a first down. That's going to be a face, face mask. Face mask. I thought it was a face mask. Face penalty as Martin trying to get through there. Someone grabbed the whole spray and face mask, so... Let's see, Ron, what's that put the ball? 13 yard line. So, first and 10 from the 13 for the Redskins. Number 14, Zach Wallman, in the quarterback, up to the line. And Martin with the ball. Martin trying to get outside. And Martin gets through it. Martin is close to the goal line. Shane Martin is right on the goal line. And what we got here, run by number 33, Shane Martin, and that was a good determination as he just pulled his way in there. Kept fighting and fighting and fighting and finally got down. 
Uh, it's, hard, it's hard to stick it and corner it. It's hard to see the goal line. That's the five yard line. Oh, yeah, oh, that's the five yard line. Okay, he's just outside the five. Just outside the five. I was thinking the uh, that was the goal line, but got to get the first down. Shane Martin with the ball, and Martin is going to be stacked up. Yeah, let's see how, how much they give him. Uh, if, if he got anything, it's very little. It depends on where they spotted the ball. We needed about a half a yard for a first down. And it wasn't got, it's not enough for a first down. It's still going to be uh, about, uh, let's call it a yard. It's going to be less than a yard for a first down. So Redskins are third down now, just outside the five-yard line. Need to pick up the first down here. And here we go, fumble out of play. And Redskins recover. Redskins recover. But that's going to bring up fourth down now. Fourth down. So here comes a big, big play. And Redskins will take time out to talk about it. And let's take time out with it. Sounds good. We'll be back in just a few moments. And we're back here with, uh, okay, Ron, with 6.56 left to go in the ball game. The Redskins facing a fourth down now. And about a yard and a half for a first down from about the six yard line of ball knob. They really need to make this one up to the line. Wellman, Wellman hands the ball to Martin, and Martin is first down. He's close, close. He's close to the first down. Let's see what it's going to be as they spot it down. Don't have a signal from the official yet. But, oh, they're looking real close, and it looks like he's got enough. Uh, they're they're going to measure. Well, that's, that's probably the best for, for the ball knob fans, but he's, uh, well, it's hard to see from here. But it looks like he, looks he like had it. it. To me, he had it, yeah. But it's way down on that end of the field, and we'll see it. But if we have to give it to him right there, that's the place we want him to have it. First and it is a first and ten for the Redskins. First and goal. Got it by the length of the football. And first and golden goal for the Redskins, 6.51 left to go in the ball game. They already lead it 13-6. And they'd like to punch another one in right here. Add a little cushion to that lead. They're uh, right at the five yard line. I believe it's real, it's real hard to see the yard markers. Martin with the ball and Martin surges forward and picks up a couple. And let's see, he's close to the two. About two looks like the ball is something to play Let's see where they spot it. That's going to be down at the one. So Shane Martin moves it down to the one. Maybe Michael Johnson checks in. And that offensive line of the Redskins doing a good job that time. 51 at Hinkle, the right side, and 52 Mike Evans, 77. Uh, Mike Evans in there. Let's get this right here and we'll get him for you. Hand off to Martin, and he's, he's in. in there. Touchdown, Redskins. A good job of the offensive line. Number 62, Brian Perry. Number 52, Mike Emmons in there. And number 56 also in on that play on the offensive line, Chris Dekert. And a good surge by the offensive line, and Martin takes it over, and the Redskins are on the board again. Our score 19-6 with 6.07 left to go in the game. And we're going to have uh, Brandon Cisco, number 24, attempting to add another point to that. Number 12, Jeremy Presley, is the holder. There's the snap. There's the kick. And it's up. Good. It's good. And the Redskins add another point to that. They lead this ball game 20 to 6 with 6.07 left to go. And a good job by the Redskins that time. Of course, the, the big run by Cisco got that one started. I'll get a shot of our crowd. Over there. They've been a great crowd. We've got a lot of people here all the way down the ball now. And uh, a lot of people stand along the track. I know uh, that's where I always like to stand. Now there's where your second guessers, <laughs> sideline quarterbacks, you probably take odds over there. Oh well, yeah, well, you can get a lot of things over there. But uh, there's a track around the field as you can see and you can get right down next to the field, but their facility is, uh, you know, it's adequate, but nothing compared to Schoonover Stadium. Field-wise and stadium-wise. But the Redskins now, 
and join a 20 to 6 lead as that's what they really needed right there. That, uh, that put the icing on the cake, probably. Well, they have come back and scored, and of course, we got a long time left around the 6.07. 6 that's true. And, but it, it puts the ball out in a situation where they're going to have to score and then score again. And uh, Redskins got to be fully aware of that. For 24, Cisco set the kickoff. And here's the kick. It's going to go over at the 25-yard line. Take it out. And hit hard and drop. I see Malone in there. Also number 40, 41. And Grant Reynolds, a sophomore. Also in on a play. Good kick coverage by the Redskins tonight. They've done an excellent job covering on the kicks. And with 6.03 left to go in the ball game, Ball Nob will have the ball at their own 34-yard line. And I would imagine, Ron, they're going to open it up a little bit. I think they will. I think they go hear it. And quarterback Sean, he can throw the ball uh, pretty well. There's a pass out in the flat, and it's um, behind the receiver. You know, when I brag on him, he throws one behind the receiver. Number 10. There, the quarterback for Ball Knob. Not a very big young man, but uh, pretty agile. That he is. Ball Knob's got a good football team. They, they'll do well in their conference. They sure do. So they're in the 5AA South, so conceivably somewhere down the line, the Redskins could make it to the playoffs. They could see Ball Knob again. That they could. Up on the line, wide receiver, split out to the left. Back to pass is the quarterback. Pass is complete, and he's Chad attack. Number 32, Chad Tiedemeyer, puts the Chad attack on him and drops him, and he's on the ground. And he, we, he is injured on the play. And Chad Tiedemeyer makes the play there, and the, the receiver is still down. As number 32, Chad Tiedemeyer, we're getting used to seeing that. Those good hard licks. And we certainly don't, uh, don't like wish that, that man is injured. No, we don't like to see any injuries, but uh, we do like to see those hard licks. And... Uh, well, let's take a timeout with him. Let's, let's take a timeout. We'll be back in just a moment. Okay, Ron, we're back to action here with 4 quarter, 525 left to go. Let's go straight at 20 to 6. They've got the ball on their 36 yard line. Yeah. The timeout, the ball off. They're going to take it over again. Let's take a timeout with him. Okay, Ron, we're back here with 518 left to go in the fourth quarter. Redskins with a lead, 26. Ball knob with the ball on the wrong 35-yard line. Defensively, Redskins digging in. Chad Benson, 61 on the right end. Chris Hinkle in the middle. And back to pass is the quarterback. And there's a pass that's short out in the flat. It's going to be incomplete, and he was smothered in there. But a very one like ball, number 61. There's Radar Vincent again. And number 77, Alex Phillips, also in the tackle. And uh, Ron, I believe your son has uh, got his radar locked on that quarterback tonight. Yeah, locked on. I don't know. Number 61, Chad Vincent, playing a good game. And they're they're all playing a good game, I'll tell you. Yes, they are. Good effort by the Redskin defense again. As they flexed a little bit, and of course, the one score by Ball Knob, and Ball Knob, uh, a very good football team. They spread uh, receivers, both sides, pass in the flat, and it's going to be almost intercepted. McFall trying to get a hold of it. Good, good play by number 81, John McFall. Nice job, McFall. And that was a fourth down play, so the Redskins are going to come up with the ball here with 5.08 left to go. And Good play, by, good play by the Redskins there. And they take over the ball. And let's see what kind of situation we got here. Okay, Malone's, I mean, uh, uh, Roman's going to come back in at quarterback. 14. And we still got 5.08 left to go. So a good uh, good long time to left in the ballgame. Good long time. 
Give yeah, on the right side to Cisco, and Cisco is going to pick up maybe one. And on that offensive line, number 70 now, Nick Wallace. For the Redskins, number 65 also in the ball game now. That's uh, Terrence Haley. And it's like number 80, Michael Johnson, in the left end. Number 52, Mike Emmons in the right tackle. McCall at the end. Pitch out left side, Cisco, and Cisco is thrown back for a loss. A late hit. Penalty flag, and I believe we're going to have a late, late hit, hit on the play. That was number 23, I So the Redskins now are probably going to tack on 15 more yards. On that. I believe that's what it's going to be. So we're going to tack some more on that. And while we got the time, Rob, we need to remind everybody, next Friday night, Green County Tech at home. Green County Tech coming in with a good football game, a uh, football team. Talked to Coach Weeks last night over at the junior high game, and uh, he expects to field a pretty good team. They beat Corning last week. I believe they play uh, Carruthersville, Missouri tonight. Of course, uh, Green County Tech, a triple-A team. Uh -huh. That'll be the last non-conference game before the Redskins start conference play. So we'd like to have everybody out next Friday night. Redskins with the ball, first down and 10. Hand off, right side. We've got Cisco, and he's down close to the 20 yard line. Four minutes left to go in the game. Redskins lead it 20 to six. And they like just to hang on the ball and move it down for another first down. Another score is not really important here. But you bet they're going to try to score. Yeah, that's right. I guarantee you. On the 20 yard line of the That man that's got the ball is going to try to put it across the goal line. And off the right side. Oh, he's and going. That's up the middle, Brandon Cisco. And Cisco is still on his feet and out of bounds. Down out about the five yard line. Good run by Brandon Cisco. As I said, Ron, uh, the man that's got the ball is going to try to put it in the end zone. That's exactly what Cisco tried to do. A good run. And Cisco's had a couple of nice runs tonight. There's that one big run back in that earlier drive. Uh, it's a big key. And they spot it down. I really can't see it. It looks like at about the six. So first and goal to go. From the six, Cisco with the ball. Cisco is now got a penalty flag on the play. Cisco gets it up for a couple of yards. And the penalty flag thrown right into the pile up there. And we're going to clip against the Redskins. Get the Redskins. That's a little unusual to have a clip on that type of uh, play. We usually have a clip on a sweep. But nevertheless, that is the call. With 3.11 left to go in the game, We'll push that ball back. Number 84 checking in the ball game now is Chris Brackstock, a sophomore. Welvin's still in at quarterback. Just some new offensive linemen. Let's see, Nick Wallace, I believe, is the center, number 70. Alex Phillips, 77, still in at the guard. 52, Mike Emmons in at the right tackle. The ball at the right end. 65, Terrence Haley at left uh, tackle. Brian Jensen at left guard. Cisco with the ball again, and Cisco is going to be shoved back. Picked up one or two. And Redskins now with 2.40 left to go in the game. Ball is out at the 17-yard line. Second down, goal to go from 17. Redskins taking plenty of time. Ball is on about the 20-yard line, so second and goal. Ball's 24 in the backfield along with 21 to Ralph Collier. Number 24, Brandon Sisko. Turn, there's a pitch to Sisko. And Sisko cuts it upside, trying to get outside. And drag down, he gets uh, five or six on the play. He's just one step away from breaking that thing. So it's going to be third and goal to go. Third and and goal. the ball out about the, uh, 16. Uh, let's have a say. They're taking a timeout. We'll take a timeout with them. We'll be back in just a moment. 
We got third down now, though. Ball just inside the 15. And off the right side, and Cisco is going to be dragged down after a short game. He's going to get down about the 11, looks like. So, fourth down now. A minute 45 left in the ball game. Redskins with the ball now. Down on the 11-yard line of football line. We do have a two-hander injured. I believe they tell me it's Marion. Okay, fourth, fourth down now. Goal to go for the Redskins from the 11. Pitch out right side, and Cisco oh, cuts up the middle, and he's not going to get it. Gets down about the six. He did not make it, so the ball will go down. So the Redskins are going to uh, turn the ball over here to Ball Knob with a minute 18 seconds left to go in the game. They lead the ball game 20 to 6. 20 to 6 is the score. The Redskins have played uh, been a good football game. But defensively uh, shut the, the Bulldogs down early, and they were able to get a little offense going. And this is kind of one of those ball games, which Redskins were pretty much in control of it. And when the pressure was on, after ball on scores, Redskins came right back and tacked another one on. But you know, they're going to air it out now. So they send wide receivers both sides. Back to pass is the quarterback. Oh, getting pressure. That's going to be caught and immediately dropped in there. And a good play by number 49, Chris Rose. That's Chris Rose. Good play by Chris as he dropped the, the ball carrier. And we got a timeout by Ball Knob here with a minute and one second left to go. And Ron, let's take a timeout with him. And we're back here. Is, well, even cheerleaders have a tough sport, don't they? That's right. right, Ron. Right. 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 Back to the ball game, Ron. Suck it down now and seven for Ball Knob. Pass out in the flatness complete to the big back, and he is hit, hit, and finally goes down. And that persistent defense finally brings him down. And ready to three David Williams over there makes a the tackle on with Ralph Collier 21. And uh, they just kept after him, and the big uh, the big back finally was brought down. It's third down now in two. 37 seconds left to go in the game, and the Redskins uh, get by the substitution. That's number 26 in the ball game for the Redskins. Travis James into the cornerback, and I'm when sure we're not going to get a ball. No, no. Right. 84 is in the safety. First bright spot. A cornerback, number 23. And I believe that's Barrett Flagg. It is. 83, David Williams in. Number 63 in the ball game now. Is Ryan Deepert on the defensive front. Number 57 in there. Is Joe Jensen. Number 75 in the ball game. And I believe that's uh, Josh Pettis, another sophomore. And Tango Bells get on. Collier and Jensen are the linebackers. Back to pass is the quarterback. Pass out in the flat, and it's going to be incomplete. And number 78, also in on that defensive team right now, is Sean Smith. They're rolling them in and out right now. 76 in there. I don't know if we got him around. I'm trying to get them all. That's Chris Smith. Uh, Ron, did I miss anybody? I know I did. I'm trying to see everybody. 57, 73. Don't believe we got him. That's uh, Seth Looney. Second down now. 12 seconds to go in the ball game. Back to pass his quarterback is complete out in the flat. And there's a ladder back. The ball's on the ground. And Ball Knob comes up with it. He's smothered under. And that's going to end a ball game. And the Redskins are going to come away with a 20 to 6 victory over the Ball Knob Bulldogs. And don't forget, next week, the Redskins will be at home against Green County Tech next Friday night. The junior high Redskins next Thursday night home against our BLB at Pickett against Pickett. And again, we're at the Pocahontas. No, we're at the Ball Knob Stadium here in Ball Knob, Arkansas. We'd like to thank all the fine sponsors out there, right? And an excellent game. And once again, this has been your Pocahontas football. Network. Y'all stay tuned. And we'll be